trying to get people off on the right step today. So they get they get bruised for a week. They yep. get they get lovely power bars and protein powder, and now they're going to get information from Dr. Joey Schulman about the fad diets. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because. I'm not sure if I know a woman who has not tried one. We all yes. sort of buy into these, you know, miracle diets. They're going to shed the pounds. So without naming any names, uh, the high, high protein was was a big fad. I think it's kind of it's 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 coming down. It's a little kind bit. of coming down now. Yes. Does it work? Does it not work? Why should you or should you not use it? Okay. High protein, the problem is your body never has wanted to run on protein and never can run on protein. Your body has to run on carbohydrates, but the right carbs. So okay. you need protein to fill you up so you're not hungry because it boosts metabolism, but you can't run on protein. I have women whose hair starts falling out. They clog yeah. their digestive system. So you can't just go high protein and you can't go too low calorie either. Right. So some elements of these fad diets work, but people are taking them to an extreme. And if it's not sustainable behavior, what's the point? You're going to gain it back. So the issue is you it, it'll work. You'll lose you might lose the weight those first 3 months, but then maintaining it is going to be next to impossible. But but truly Tracy, any diet can get you to lose weight. Right. But the key is maintaining it. So if you're going to end up back in my office 3 months later and say, "I put 25 pounds back." It every time you yo-yo and you come back to see a dietary specialist, you slow down your metabolic engine. So uh -huh. it's actually doing you more harm than it is. I don't practice rapid weight loss. Two to three pounds per week, great. That's perfect for me. Okay, what about uh, there's a diet plan where you go in, you get a B12 shot and your vitamins and it's super, super low calorie. Okay, um, I see a lot of people from that plan yes. and um, any dietary approach that drops you under a thousand calories per day is not a good idea because your body thinks it's starving. Right. So you actually eventually store more fat and then when you go off that dietary approach and you eat like a normal person does, mm -hmm. your body goes, oh thank God she's not in a time of famine anymore. Stores it all. Stores it all as fat. And so those people, we almost have to heal their metabolism. When they come in, you have to give your body enough fat so it goes, oh okay, I'm not in a time of famine anymore. Anymore, right. So. Okay, how about portion control? Because there are a couple of diets that are just based, fad diets, that are just based on portion control. Portion control is great, and I try and teach people that to eat until you're sufficiently sufficed, not stuffed. So don't okay. eat until your pants get too tight. <laughs> and if you slow it down, it takes 20 minutes for your stomach to say to your brain, hey, I'm full. Right. So just slow it down. Portion control is great, and, and we teach people that as well. But we also teach people hormonal balance with food, eating the big three, protein, carbohydrates, and fats, because you need all three. I want to know, uh, like, what do you mean by hormonal balance? balance. Keep blame blood me. sugar control. So okay. if you're eating high glycemic index, and we've all heard of the glycemic index, it zooms into the bloodstream, you over secrete that excess, that hormone insulin, mm -hmm. excess insulin is stored here. Right. You know, am I, am I an apple or am I a pear? Most yes. of us are apples and we store excess weight here, which is insulin, mm -hmm. and that's a risk factor zone. So we want a blood sugar control with protein and fat. Yeah, I often think about that when I think, wow, I've got some major thighs on me. And then I think, but at least it's not stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my oh, no. So you just had a baby uh, seven months ago yes, and I you know. have been eating well, but you've obviously been eating healthy. Well, these are healthy sin foods and this is the this is the whole idea. So I wanted to write this book to show people you can eat healthy, yummy, tasty foods. This is the book she's talking about right here, Healthy Sin Foods, and it's actually out in stores today, today. Uh, and you've got all of the secrets because people would just take one look at you when I met you this morning it was like okay tell me right now are you a naturally skinny skinny person and you told me I am not one of those skinny people which I'm is not hyper my ears I'm I love not. that yeah. I love to hear then how you maintain this fantastic body and if it's through eating food like this then lead the way my friend well, it is <laughs> and I'm tricking people with this book because I have decadent tasting food here low calorie low glycemic index mm -hmm. these recipes all in the book are either super skinnies, eat once a week or eat once a month. And to okay. be honest with you, Tracy, most of these are super skinnies. So for example, that lasagna over there, mm -hmm. that has 320 calories in that big, huge piece. But in there is low-fat cottage cheese, cauliflower. I mean, it tastes terrific. It smells and amazing. And portobello mushrooms. Okay. So we've dropped the fat content significantly. We have skinny tuna sandwiches on sprouted grain bread. Sprouted mm -hmm. grain bread is lower glycemic index bread. So your body thinks it's getting a vegetable. Well, who would rather eat bread? 
we love our bread, right? So Absolutely. sprouted grain is terrific. Okay. We do this for the holiday season. I love this approach. This is sweet potato martinis. Ah. So you make this big thing of sweet potatoes and then toppings like um, mushrooms and onions and, and our guests love it. It's yeah. way healthier. That it looks amazing. And it looks so pretty, What is this it? right here? That is, I love this one. This is orange and ginger chicken scallop dish. Mm. This has a whopping 29 grams of protein. So this is too big of a serving. Yeah. But for women, we want about four to six ounces. But even one serving of this has 198 calories, 29 grams of protein. You will be full. The thing about us mummies, yeah. it has to be quick, it has to be easy. It has to be. This stuff, besides the baking, is under 15 minutes. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Lisa. Can we talk a little bit about the baking? What is this right here? So the chocolate chip cake? Chocolate chip cake. This is what I pack my mm. son to go to school. This is nut free. And what we do here is I've baked this one with kamut. You've heard of kamut yeah. fiber? And this is with spelt. Now okay. these have walnuts in them so they can't go to school, but just take the walnuts out if you want. But mm -hmm. I put the walnuts in for an omega-3 punch. If I make it whole grain, first of all, I've increased the fiber and I've increased the protein. These are once a weekers. These are not eat to eat every day. Okay, got it. But to pack for kids, fabulous. Really fantastic. Bruce gave me a good tip though. He said if you really do want that piece of cake, the best time to eat it is right after you've worked out. Yes. Yeah. And don't deprive yourself too. Well, if you I, want I'm that piece of cake. I'm going to take that advice okay. like tomorrow. <laughs> That's good advice. I'm going to get off that treadmill and eat my cake. And eat your cake. Well, That's what I'm going to do. Exactly. Okay, so we mentioned uh, your fantastic book here, Healthy Sin Foods. Uh, Dr. Joey Schulman has actually brought down copies uh, and we're going to be drawing for some of them after the show. We know you're an award-winning author. Good. So, the absolutely best-selling author. As well, you can check out Dr. Joey's website. It's drjoey.com. That's D-R-J-O-E-Y.com. You got it. After the break, we've got more fitness fashions. We're going to look at fashions from Nike. Stay with us.